Hello again, everyone. Thank you for bearing with me on these videos. I wanted to take a minute to talk about the project and how I'm going to make a little bit of a tweak to it in order for you to be successful and also learn as much as you can about the Agile process. So first off, love your idea. I think it's a great idea. I think you're solving an effective problem. I think that it's something that could easily be sold and used and customers would have opinions about. So excellent job on that. Now, I'm also aware that you will not likely be able to build it by the end of this course. That's a little bit unreasonable, especially since I'm guessing not all of you are software developers or UI UX designers and things of that nature. So what you should be tracking to is a project that could be taken over by another team. So I want your project is to set up the perfect Agile project, if that makes sense. So what does that mean? It means that you're going to have a roadmap and that's on the list of deliverables this week that hasn't changed. You're going to have a clearly defined minimum viable product. So pay attention to what MVP is and make sure you clearly define what it is and what it is not in this case. You're going to have a release schedule. So you're going to say, okay, this is our minimum viable product. And once we've tested that, we expect the next version will be this. All right. So uh, maybe it's just for a day. Maybe in your next version, you can order three or four days in advance. I, I don't know, but that you want to think about what the next versions will be. All right. And you're going to have a prioritized product backlog. Now, don't worry about that too much just yet because you're going to have time to write these stories. But writing and evaluating and prioritizing stories is a critical element of a successful project in, in Agile. So we'll talk about that. So if you think about the end goal for this project, think about another team coming in that's ready to build. Your project is to build the perfect project for them to start off with. Okay. Now that will also include some type of presentation or description or diagram of the minimum viable product at the end. I want to know what it does. I don't want to know how pretty it is. It needs to be function. It, the, the presentation needs to describe a functioning product, not it kind of, wouldn't it be cool if kind of product. So the other thing that I want to comment on, and I, I apologize, the wrong document was uploaded for your team contract. So, um, I, I actually looked in my notes and I found that we were supposed to update it. We didn't, so that is that is my fault and I apologize. I actually helped design this course. So the roles that I want you to follow for this project are product owner, scrum master, team member, and client. All right? So first off, if you are the product owner, you are the keeper of the client's vision. And by the way, I do want you to rotate these and want you to each play this role at least once during the next four weeks. Okay, so the product owner, keeper of the client vision, your job is to translate what the client wants into something that the team can understand. Okay, so you're going to be working a lot on story writing. That's why I want each of you to try that role at least once because it's a really challenging bit of that job. Scrum master, you are the keeper of the process and the protector of the team. Okay, so you're going to be the one that will be managing the daily stand-ups, turning them in, handling the uh, team working agreements, and also making sure that teams adhere to those working agreements. So if a team member doesn't show up, it's your job to track that person down and find out what went wrong. Okay, so you're the keeper of the process and the team. Team member, you're getting stuff done. Okay, so if the product owner is writing stories and needs help, you're going to be writing stories along with the product owner. You're going to be reviewing documentation. You're going to be maybe creating that presentation with all the working software. You're, you're going to be the, the worker in, in this process. And then lastly, the client. So if you are playing the role of the client in a particular week, you do not need to attend the stand-ups. You are going to review all of the work before it gets submitted to me. So the client somehow has to bless the work before I get to it. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, well, that means that we need to do all the work by Friday and turn it into the client, and then the client turns it in. Ah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you have bi-weekly check-ins with the client. You say, we did this. Is this tracking? Is this the vision that you see? So your job as the client is to step into the customer's shoes as the person who's either paying for it or selling it to others and say, I like this. I don't like that. This is or this isn't going to work. Now, it's a bit hodgepodgey because we're going to have you rotate roles. And I know that's going to be unrealistic and, and a challenge, but I think it's more important for you to each have the experience of one of those roles than it is to keep the roles set in stone and, and have you not have that experience. So I'm making that conscious decision. I'm going to be sending out an announcement with this information. So you have it in written form. I am available for you. If you have questions, obviously during my office hour or at any other time during the week, 
Um, I am not getting notifications in my email right now, so I'm checking it as regular as I can. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with that. But I promise you I will check in every morning at about 7.30 Mountain Time. Um, I look forward to your project. I think it's going to be great. The deliverables for this week have not changed. The only thing you need to do differently is to redefine the roles as they are this week. So who's going to play the client, scrum master, product owner, or team member this week? Good luck, and I look forward to working with you.